told you I was gonna deliver oh. here. Fight you wanna fight right me? Now? Welcome back, another episode of This Verse That, presented by our friends at NOS Energy Drink. And we are here at Kudamanja Airway with our good man, the liaison, the <laughs> facilitator of facilitators of GDRs, Mr. Andrew Hawkins. We have one of the best matchups today, both JDM heroes, and they are both big time cars in the roll racing scene here. This is a proper grudge match. Nice, we love that. Let's go check out the cars. What better way to start our Australian trip than with a real Australian GDR and a real Australian? I am Gary. Mark. Nice to meet you. Would you like to tell us about your car? This is a 1994 R32 GTR running a Nitto 3.2 litre RB30 block. Excuse me? So you got an R32 with a 3.2 in this. That's correct. AP2, color? Red. Red, all right. Viewers at home, I'm semi-Skyline nerd. Red being one of the very rarest colors for all models and makes of Skylines from GT2, uh, GTR, uh, GTST, uh, this color code being AP2. Wine red, as some people call it, like a fine gentleman right here. He has a fine automobile. Can you open your body and show us your 3.2 liter fine engine you have here? Damn, gold? Gold. For the people at home that don't know, could you explain what we're looking at? And we have a Precision 8685 Turbo running a Hypertune manifold, coming around with a standard intake manifold with ID injectors, Kingsler fuel pump from Platinum Racing Products. How much power does this make? Uh, 1300 at the tyres, hub dyno. Come again? All wheel? Or uh, on the rear dyno. Yes. Okay, okay, so all wheel maybe about like 11? I'm not sure. I'm not a dyno, so I couldn't Never. tell you that. <laughs> What kind of fuel are you running? Running E85. Nice, pump? Pump fuel, yeah. And then you still got your ABS and everything as well? I do, I kept the ABS, kept the brakes, they all work, may as well use them. So now that we've looked at your engine bay, let's move on to the wheels and tires and see what's holding all this power down. Let's have a look. You want to explain this big ass tire you got on here, my good man? So running a Mickey Thompson Street R tire, wrapping a P1 Buddy Club racing wheel. What size is this? 15 inch wheel. And, and then, a 255 60 15 tire. Jesus. How are you? What suspension setup you running on here? We're running MCA Reds suspension by DNA, and they rebuilt the suspension for the tr conditions today. Oh, nice. So it's a strictly drag racing car and roll racing? Uh, it's set up for roll racing and Kudamundra today. Oh, nice. So I know people are going to ask this at home, and I want to know myself what's the fastest you've been in this car? Oh, 270. Kilometers? Kilometers. <laughs> I don't look down. So now we looked at here, let's take a look inside because it looks pretty clean for a drag racing car. You want me to talk to you dirty or talk to you nice? Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> listen, listen, your last name King. King is great. My last name's King as well. Is it? Yeah, Good Gary King Jr. <laughs> you want to tell us about your interior setup here? I know that is that is not a normal shifter you got there in a GTR. Yeah, so we're running uh, an m, &M Auto Shift from United States. It has just gone on last week. It is absolutely superb and it's the first event it's done. We're running a Howtech digital dash. We're running my trans brake on the steering wheel here so I can keep both hands on the wheel. Ah! A link eight button button. <laughs> eight button button. So do you want to explain what those eight buttons do? Or is that a top secret for nobody else to know but you? Uh, but it does a lot of different things and when you press them all on, more stuff happens. I like that. Straight and simple to the point. And you still got your standard steering wheel. Uh, what kind of transmission is this? Running a turbo 400. Oh, nice, nice. We were all wondering like, what the f is he doing with this car? Roll cage? Uh, we have a roll cage just custom fabbed into the car. Parachute. Is there a parachute on here today? I don't have it on today. Oh, so you go that fast you need a shoot? Yes. Is that a stereo? Is it, does it work? Yeah, yeah, full stereo works, yeah. When you're beating your opponents, what's your soundtrack you like to listen to? <laughs> I don't know, songs. Since you don't have any songs to sing, let's hear what your opponent has to say and sing to you. Done. 
Very lucky to have been around motorsports for a long time, and what I've learned is brakes are absolutely crucial to going fast. So, I like to use Hawk pads because they have a pad for all kinds of motorsports, anything from circle track, rally, road racing, autocross, everything in between. They have something for you. And guess what, here's the best part. You don't need a big brake kit to stop well. It's two things. You need the right pad and you need really good fluid. And Hawk has both of those on their website for you. Hawk pads can live in up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit of operating temp. That's insane. And it's all from the same Hawk pad that you could buy. So head over to hawkperformance.com. It's a super useful website. Get the right pad for you. Save your money on that big brake kit. Well, you'd expect me to do the walk around on a GTR, but if I did that, I wouldn't need the owner because I'd know everything about it. So instead, I've got a man that everyone in Australia has seen race before, Dom Rigoli and the Coval Evil. How are you, man? How you doing? So um, here's the thing with this car. You'd think I'd know a lot about it, but here's the problem. Michael Coval, the owner, in the last decade has never actually filled his entry form out properly. And two, the car changes all the time, right? Yep. <laughs> it's just always developed. There's always something for sale off it, something new. Like yep. it's, we, we need to know this combo. Can we pop the hood? Yeah, that's it. Oh, wow, okay, uh, the turbo is slightly larger than last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with the actual engine itself. Obviously, 4J63, do you, is it, you haven't gone to a billet block yet, have you? No, nah, still a factory block. What capacity is it at two, the moment? 2.2 .2 litre. It's got one of our own stroker kit combos in it. Heads, obviously, well, everything, right? It heads ported, it's got all super tech gear in it. Got our own custom grind camshaft in it. Yeah, and what turbo charge are we talking now? I know you've tried it's, probably just about every turbo combo it, there is on this car, Yeah, it's right? got the new 8085 precision on it. Any nitrous? We use nitrous to bring it on for raw racing. Yep. Today, we weren't using the nitrous because we'll use an anti-lag. Now, obviously, Mtron ECU controlling it, GFB gates I can see straight away. Can we talk power? Like, where are we at now? We're going to give a real number, right? Let's, let's, for the once, let's give a real number. Yeah. What's it making right now? At the hubs, it's around 1480. Wow. Wow. So we're talking 1480 horsepower in a car that weighs less than a GTR by probably a a reasonable amount, right? Yeah, we've been adding and adding, so it's not what a lot of people think. I think now, with me in it, this car will be close to 1,400 kilos, maybe even a bit more. So the weight advantage isn't as much as people think, probably about no. 150 to 200 kilos, yeah. depending on the car. Yeah, so depending on the car, that's right. Now that sort of power, obviously, you're going to need a pretty serious gearbox, but hey, no yeah. autos here, right? Sequential. No, nah, no, nah, sequential. I've got to ask, though, how are you keeping the drivetrain this alive? What front diff, rear diff, LSD, how you, uh, how do you even get a combination like this to stay alive? The Sam Sonus has been good. Yep. They're, they're pretty stout. What about up back? I've At heard the back, it's got totally the R200. Diff. See, there you go. Nissan rear diff, right, to yeah. make it work. So there's some type of DDR <laughs> thing going on in here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so serious powertrain, serious drivetrain. Let's look at the outside quickly first, huh? Yeah. I always see people do this at roll racing events. You ready? All right, what material do we have where? Let's, let's sell it <laughs> once and for all. We've got plastic there and we've got fiberglass there. But the front? The front's factory. There you go. Yeah. You know why? Rules at certain events. So it's not as light as everyone thinks, but power-wise, putting it down, I see this is a new Pro Street radio tire. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, so we just put these on. Um, we're testing them. They seem to be pretty good. I think they just need to be bedded in a bit more. We're going to show people the most important thing on the outside of this car. You ready? Come look, come look around here, everybody. Come look at this. This is this is the most important part of the car. It's the, it's the <laughs> custom artwork that you can see right here <laughs> for a little bit of this, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's all about the chop. It gets so. the GDR boys going. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look inside. So uh, it's pretty much all business here, right? It's just yeah. things that are removed that are not needed and things that are put back in it needed. So yeah. Sparco buckets, uh, aftermarket steering wheel, you can see the dash, You've got a couple of buttons on a PDM, but that's it, right? Like Yeah, we've got the keypad here, so We've got a few modes here. Now, this is all business in here, man, all business. But like, there's a lot of rumors floating around about this car, but as you can see, it's still pretty much a street car. It's only the back doors that are lightened and the rest of it is, well, as per normal, man. It's time to put it down, let's go. Thank you. Uh, the problem with my prediction is my heart says GTR, but my brain says Evo. Oh man, this is hard, I can't do this. Have a mimosa and relax. Okay, um, I'll have to go GTR. GTR, it's all about the GTR. What? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Evo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the deal. I've been doing calculations on the computer here. Because we're here with Andrew Hawkins, Evo. 
All right, all-wheel drive Evo versus all-wheel drive GTR. I'm going GTR all the way. I'm not backing out of this one. I didn't come this far to vote for some punk-ass Evo. Big matchup. This big. This is like this Aussie is, is this, pride. Is this Aussie beef. This is this is this is a beef here, but there isn't like the like the beef for our boys. Is this kangaroo beef? I, mean? I love right. it. They're both super clean, all-wheel drive, automatic versus sequential. Yeah, like that's a good lineup. Round one. Cars are getting squirrely <laughs> midway down the track. They're fast. That Damn. is what I told you I was gonna deliver oh, here. Oh shit. Damn. Hey, look at the shirt. <laughs> Hit him with that again. 32 by a car length. Oh! Yeah. Wow, oh, that's close. Damn. Because uh, the Evo had to get out of it for a yeah. sec because he got real squirrely. <laughs> You know what they're gonna ask for, right? They're gonna ask for more length. Oh, Evo's right. got more top end. We could go. We could go 1500. Is that enough stopping time? Yeah. 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 That's a that's a long runoff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, who out here putting duct tape on this man's beautiful GTR? The disrespect, <laughs> holy shit. Man. So check it out. That was a good race. So we know you guys have wanted to do this race for a while. What's your next race? You guys negotiate. I think we should just run them to 15. Do you want to Yeah. 1500? Yeah. Well, we'll change the catch can, check logs. Yeah. Happy you can do it right there. Yeah. Okay. Let's wait. Let's cool. Start. Heads up, 1500 foot for round two. Is fast, bro. Dude. All right, so uh, now I can kind of get why you guys like those cars, dude. That Evo is scooting, yeah, it's cooking. What do you think? Roll race next? I think they might need to, man. I mean, that's gonna be nasty, too. I'm pretty sure down here in Australia, uh, particularly in Sydney, roll racing is uh, a big form of drag racing here. So, technically, this is Cooter Mundra. Oh, that's <laughs> good, and yeah, roll racing is the deal. Let's go down and uh, convince these guys to go do something. Got a lot of top end on that. Yeah. So you got one win each. Next win takes home the nothing that we give you, <laughs> except the bragging rights. What do you guys want the race to be? You can do a roll, yeah, you can do a dig, you can do shorter. This, this this track, right? yeah. 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 I like this. Aussie, heads up. To a thousand? So we'll go 1500 again? 1500? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 1500. Yeah, 15. All right, let's go. Short shifted he first did. and fell out of boost in second gear. Yeah, but dude, when that thing picked up, holy <laughs> tried to punk me into dropping my arm, but you say I told him, hey, you wait till I tell you to go. Evo by a three or four car Whoa! Whoa! He's still, he's still around around him. Him. I did I tell mean, you that Evo is the GTR hunter. Like did, I knew what we're in for. Did you wait? What did you just say? 
That's did what he is. Did you pronounce it T? Yeah, yeah he but did. just for your American fans, nice. like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> They're like, we're so confused. What cars are these? I've never heard of them before. Born in the USA or something. What has happened to you? That was that's a good race. Yeah, that was a good race. race. Okay, so as somebody that really doesn't have a whole lot of respect for those cars, actually, no. <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> if somebody doesn't love those cars just because, you know, it's just not my thing, I do not have respect. This shit's moved. I almost oh, molly this man. You want to fight this you guy fight right me? now? You want to fight me, Gary? Do you want to fight? Give me the camera. All right, get naked. Let's fight. <laughs> Go, get Oh, Jesus Christ, no! <laughs> work the knees, work the elbows. Yo, this thing. <laughs> did you turn up the spice? Did you pour on a little boost? Hey, let me see that hand. Let me see that hand. <laughs> as much as I love GTRs, yeah, and he's built some quick GTRs too. He knows how to build an Evo like nothing else. And this thing, GDR Hunter, the GDR Chopper, the GDR Killer, well, all those things. Like this car is known for that. So, uh, yeah. If you know Andrew, you know <laughs> that this is hurting him to say this. Where's uh, where's the GTR, bro? He broke it. Great work, man. That was a race. Welcome back. This person died. Might have jumped that, but he chased it. Uh, <laughs> I will kill you. This is original paint. <laughs> 